Right, so what I thought Sky had done, they have done. Um, I was having issues with my soundbar connecting to the Sky Glass. Um, it's not doing it at the moment, I'm not sure if the... Uh, let me just get the soundbar remote and see what we are in. Right, so there we go. Pop it in Bluetooth mode. Go back on here, add new device. Um, it appears, it's not up here, it, I, I blatantly can tell because I've tested this. Um, it doesn't look like uh, sound bars are supported with Bluetooth anymore. Um, headphones, absolutely fine. Um, I've tested my sound bar with my phone and other devices to make sure that they connect up via Bluetooth. It's not an issue at all. Um, I've checked the Bluetooth on the TV with um, earphones, picks up earphones absolutely fine, will not pick up soundbars. Uh, the message I was getting here yesterday was uh, not supported. So Sky have turned off soundbars somehow. They've changed something in the uh, settings on the Bluetooth so you can't connect soundbars to them. So everyone now has to use the horrible, horrendous Arc, which doesn't really work although i'm gonna have to try you know test it out again you know see maybe they've updated some software or something on that and maybe that works a little bit better but having the remote control being able to turn my soundbar up and down was really good and it did work for me in bluetooth the sound was fine i did have a few issues with uh you know losing connection every now and again and uh the uh the sync of the sound but other than that it used to work fine so Sky, if you're listening to this, please bring back the feature or turn on a feature that supports soundbars because this is starting to get really annoying where you're forcing people to do things the way you want them to do them, not using the devices and stuff that they've already got that any other TV out there will connect to except for your TV. Now, you're forcing people to use the built-in soundbar or use the, the horrendous arc. Um... I know some of you don't have issues with the Arc, but I do. Um, I, I, it, maybe it's my device, maybe they don't like each other, I don't know. But it's a pretty high-end soundbar, it's Dolby Atmos, you know, it wasn't a cheap soundbar. It's one of the higher rated ones, so I don't see the problem. So Sky, sort it out please, this is starting to get bloody annoying. Otherwise, this is going to end up having to go back. Oh, and another thing, um, the Sky Live up here... I believe has to be plugged in the arc socket anyway so sort of buggered really so it's, it's either one or the other so i expect the sky is probably going to be going back as it doesn't get used and i'll try out the arc again but really disappointed sky really disappointed look after your customers listen to what they want not what you want not what your um board managers and everything want you know the more money listen to what the customers want because you're you'll do better You'll sell more units. You'll, you'll have happy customers. I mean, this service, when you phone them up and everything, is not too bad. They don't really know what they're talking about, but at least you get to speak to uh, someone in England, which is uh, a plus on my side, because uh, then you haven't got the language barrier and the distance of the phone call and all this, that and the other. But please, Sky, get with it. Get with it, please. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.